be more directed more to you because I'm speaking to you directly so you we have an understanding. But it's not that the subject is a, about you or the situation that's going on. It's just you feel the energy and the intensity and how hyped the individual is oh, about well, you. For sure. You know, you got negative energy. Oh, but I don't understand what that has to do with me reporting that people who are stalking me, which is a felony is charge and harassment, may, a misdemeanor. Someone may take it offensive that isn't doing it to you if you don't become. I think I'm being gaslit because if you have groups of people scheming to violate you, how would your attitude be? If you're forced to live in environments where more people are violating you than not, how would your attitude be? If you can't get law enforcement and you can't call the police, how would your attitude be? If you have sit, people sit next to you and start arguments and smoke and do all kind of bizarre things, relentlessly hunt you down, what would your attitude be? And if you had to be forced to take that, forced into homelessness, 26 false arrests, terrorized, relentlessly over and over, can't get your phone calls, tormented, ha taunted, oppressed daily, Amen. exactly what, how would your attitude be? How, what do you think my attitude should be when I have armies full of people scheming to violate me and starting arguments, bus drivers driving reckless? We're deflecting on the side. I don't know where I am all my environments where the compassion is. It always, always seems to be my fault. It's on behalf of accepting. Like, okay, if you, okay, I've been locked up once, once. Try 26 Mr. phosphorus. Mr. Twain. I've been locked up once. Mr. 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 So the, the most, the, the biggest charge, the biggest charge I had was basically aggravated assault. I beat that on behalf of not because more physical. Why? Because I'm in the county jail. I've been slapped. I've probably been slammed on my head. I went to a medical facility after the fact where I got out. So basically what I'm saying, I'm sitting in the punishment not because I'm Weak, but not being scared because I have enough faith and enough perseverance to endure what I needed to go through to help not just me. Because it wasn't just about me, it was about others too. Because these people were just innocent that were already of the age of somebody's uncle, somebody's granddad, somebody's dad. Yeah, so other. before I even got into the experience, I wanted to help women. I had a p place in my heart where I wanted to help, I wanted a non profit organization to help women that were in crisis situations. Uh, you wanted a non Profited before I even got in the situation. Before you even got in the situation. So wait, 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 wait. I wanted to start a nonprofit organization helping so, people. So wait, so the idea, what is your idea of non profit organization? I just think that people in crisis situations should be met with love, support, and so you feel resources. Like they should, you feel like the non profit organization should be given more than given. I no, think no, that nonprofit organizations way. should not have a free ride to conspire with abuse and should be regulated no, no, and monitored. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. I think that's what you're saying. Look, yeah, I think that they should be regulated and monitored. And if they want to enlist civilians wait, in criminal wait, activity, then they fast. need accountability. Talk too fast. Talk too fast. Talk too fast. I'm, well, the question I'm asking is this is a nonprofit organization. Let's say, due to the needs and the requirements and the expectation, of any individual who needs something, do you feel that that should be given to them more than they give and actually understanding, receiving, and the difference of, the difference of understanding when you give? My, my conversations are pretty bizarre. All I was trying to communicate is that I don't think that organizations could, should conspire with criminal activity and enlist pe people staying at the organizations to conspire with crimes. Well, okay. I came over here because you said I'm just I don't weird around you, and I feel like I was I was like moving my body weird, so I, that's why I came back over here because I was like, wait, are you okay? Yeah, so I'm appreciative that you can't because I can't either. Because some kind of way people don't think that uh, organizations conspire with abuse and enlisting people uh, at the organizations to conspire with abuse. You don't see a problem with that. I do. So it's fruitless to communicate with you or any other party that's in agreement with that. And especially the FBI don't agree with it because it's charges. It's criminal. So there's a lot of parties that don't agree with it. But here's the thing. Finding one that is willing to abide by the law. You know what I realized? Though? Now, that's the kicker. <laughs> that's you know the kicker realized, in 2024. Though? Who's abiding by the law? You know what I realized though, abiding by the law, it has 
I think it's fruitless. Thank you for coming by to talk, but we're on different pages. I we're not getting anywhere. Abiding by the laws as it slows and down is is as high as it lows. Because you could do something and it could be respectful or it could be it could be respectful or it could be considered disrespectful. Like if you would ask me or anyone else ask me, hey, you want to go get more water and I get up and I say, fuck that, I don't want to go get you more and I still didn't do it, but it's what it's being nonchalant. I have no clue what you're talking about. I don't I'd like know. to. I just okay, have a so wonderful day. So when I hear the survivors speak up, I believe them, and I oh, go over good. there like, yeah, what you talking about? You know what okay. I'm saying? Like, I don't know what you talk about, <laughs> So if someone asks me, if someone kindly asks me, would you go get me some water? And I say, I don't know what you're talking about. Would that make sense if you're not just serious? Very recently, quiet. I think we should believe survivors and stop trying to no, explain things that can't be explained. The, the topic, the words that it's, it's basically like what someone would say to me, Marquise. Sometimes when I ask you a specific question, you don't ask the specific answer. So that's what I feel like what was just saying. Basically, the specific question I asked wasn't a given. I wasn't given a specific answer basically I was just giving my experiences were pretty bizarre because they would call security on me when I talked about my abuse when I was in jail they called guards when I talked about my abuse um on zooms they would disconnect me from the zoom when I talked about my abuse so police would come interrupt me at domestic violence organizations trying to flee abuse that they're enlisted in so I'm grateful now that I'm not getting assaulted in front of people or them coming because they, they have come to remove me at the organizations and enlisted parties to conspire with psychological abuse so it wasn't safe for me to just have normal conversations. Police have came to interrupt normal conversations. Well, so at least now I don't see them trying to demand that I don't talk about abuse they're enlisted in. I guess it's because the more you talk about trauma, the more you talk about abuse, and it's not more of an intellectual or positive perspective. Someone I think that they just didn't want the accountability for abuse that they're enlisted in, so they were trying to hush me up and silence me. Yeah, by punishing me for forced. talking about abuse, but who I want to escape it. What woman don't want to have the right to flee abuse that the government's enlisted in? Am I abusive? Oh, I'm not saying that. I'm just telling you. you I didn't say that. I know. I'm, what I'm saying is sometimes. Thank you, you for taking the time it, out. If you talk about it too much, you may rub. You may rub and trigger someone. Like I have. That's why police came that, to assault and arrest me at a domestic you, violence support group. The way you people be get heard. away with things is by people acting like we're all separate. Oh, that's not my business. Yeah, I have got you in know, trouble multiple different times. So, got put out for not one, but got put out for being assaulted. Got put out for being shoved. So yeah, you do get punished for not wanting to be abused. Police. Oh, you you get put out for calling police? Are you were you the security? You look. Were you the one that was security? You look different. <laughs> Yeah, I could have been. Okay. Well, why would they demand someone take abuse in all of environments? Exactly. That's pretty serious. Yes, if is. someone is in danger and then you get punished for wanting um, so law enforcement. It's a little bit more deeper than just abuse because... When, it wasn't this deep until I got in mind. Normally women that are fleeing abuse, it wasn't that complicated to never get the services and have all these accomplices to the abuse. Now it's impossible to flee. It can't be done. Like you can't order your own food. You can't see your kids. You can't get law enforcement. You can't ride transit without everyone being in jeopardy and in danger. It just cannot be done. You can't get services anywhere on the planet. It just can't be done. You can't do it. I'll be right back. You can.